Hello, ladies and gentlemen, I'm the Marmoset, and welcome back to our Shattered India campaign in Crusader Kings 2. We now have a button to create the Kingdom of Kusala. We are now, having spent 400 prestige, give it gain 400 prestige, cost us 160 gold, 100 karma. We are now a king! Hail our amazing hat. Look at this hat. That is a hat that any man should be proud of wearing. It's an awesome hat. We have a really nice hat. And you are now the heir to a kingdom, and a load of provinces as well. We are, I believe, Kosala, that we are, if I just go, no, that's the regions, ledger, realm, that is, religions, characters, dynasty, oh, look at this, all these people in our dynasty now, we've been breeding like crazy, vassals, vassals, court, independent states, realm size, that's 47, so Scania's at 19, so there's a few of these guys are growing, there is a, um, Larger horde clan thing up, popping up over here. Perm is now several places. There's uh, Scania is now a place. I mean, he's almost got to the point where he's almost able to call, form Denmark. He's not very far off at all. We might have a Danish king. Cologne increasing in size over here. So there are people popping up over here and there. It's taking them a while. Genoa is growing. Provence is just an enormous province. Yeah, I had high hopes for you, but you managed to lose a lot of your territory. And Serbia. So yeah, it's growing. Constantinople. Wow, you make a lot of money. A bit hell of a target to go raiding. But we're all over here. We don't care for these eastern folk. So, minor titles. Points to some more commanders. We will do so. Apparently, my wife. Is that the option? It's good. You're busy. We'll just do around in Fortier. Good, good, good. Um, you're weak. So I will relieve you. And. Appoint you. Alright, so we've got a succession of cavalry characters. We've got a couple of Anlanded sons, but no territory to give them to. Vassal levies raised far too long, so we'll wait on them. Talk about diplomatic relations. We can apparently declare war on a lot of people. The next one up we want is the Jujoa Empire. That's Rajasthan, which is quite large. We would need 80% of this territory. Uh, find title. A. Empire of Rajasthan. There are 95 in there. We currently control 12%. Pretty much one for one. Um, so 95 provinces, we control 12. We would need to control 80 before we could be able to control it. We'd also need to have two kingdom titles. Well, let's look on the idea of what, what's another kingdom nearby. It would be Delhi, hugging the mountains. Rajaputana is quite large. Basically, it's how far we can get before. So I just quite like the idea of religion in that mode. Creating what we call a Buddhist kingdom. So let's start picking ours. Alright, let's just add more territory that is Buddhist to ours. So we need to be going further east. Um, other empires is the Bengal Empire. Bengal Empire. Find title or region. B-E-N. Region of Bengal. Kingdom of Bengal. Bengal Empire. That's only 62 provinces, of which we control just one. Alright, well, let's head that way. So, Jija Kingdoms, it's Bihar is next. That said, we do have a couple of people we can pick up. You! You are, notionally, part of my kingdom. Yes, become part of my kingdom. You, my dear boy, are also, notionally, part of my kingdom. Our options could be declare war. So does your claim over it, but if he's willing to, you know, just take off a of vassalization, save the troops. Become king. Yay. Six more days. Oh, while we wait. Yes, accept your fealty, accept my fealty. Some weak claims. Titles created, they'll live a new duchy on the north. Great, yes. Pick an ambition, let's do that. 
No ambitions available though. Amass wealth. Mm -hmm. Learn temperance with food. Does not have the trait. Gluttonous. Alright, so we need some kind of event, I'm assuming, with fire eventually. Or defeat fear. Be no longer craven. That one would interest me. This will probably hopefully start a chain of events. So we can apparently create this duchy up here. Two, three. We are nowhere near our vassal limit. Um, so essentially, if you create a duke here, probably one of these two, um, you then grant that person an awful lot more power in your kingdom. Get two powerful dukes, and they'll start getting uppity and decide they want, you know, things rights, territory of their own, independence, all those other hideous things. So we don't want to go near any of that ungrateful deal of fortuneness. If you don't have to create a duke, don't. So since we've got 27 out of 28 potential vassals, let's just leave that be. Alright, so this is all our territory, which will be generating us quite a bit of cash. And so what I'm just looking at now is, is there anywhere else where we can create any building that would improve our cash flow, yes. Build the castle tank. Mind. Oh, now we can take the events of six. Interesting. That's my brother. And you're one of my most powerful vassals. But you're Marshall Hunt, fair enough. That would be educating my daughter. Yeah, I'm not particularly in the mood for picking on you. Particularly for the need. I mean if I do have the demands limit, but I'd rather be able to just pick up extra provinces on my way. So, these are your kingdoms, these are duchies. So this is the duchy of... Cassie? Nice. So these guys will not accept any kind of vassalization. Um, you would. Even though you're not my du jour liege. Um, you would be interested in accepting my, um, being a vassal. Ah, well in that case, I'm probably going to say yes. For you. Offer of vassalization. Yes, because of my power. Fair enough. You. Offer of vassalization. Yes, alright, because of my power. Alright. This might take less time than I thought it was. I thought we were going to have to go to much war to be able to, um, gain the next kingdom. But if these guys are literally just going to roll over, at some point you're going to decide, no, all right, there we go, foreign culture, right. So that one kicked in. So, his dislike of my culture is far enough that even though I'm not deserve liege. Again, no foreign culture. All right, so is there a map mode that could be called cultural? Cultural. Hindustani. Okay, that's right. All right, so those acquiesced because they were indeed part of this. So I can create one of those guys. I'm create that duchy. Okay, so you would say yes because we're of the correct culture. Done. Again, of the right culture because I'm just so much larger than these guys. Even though I'm not de jure liege and base reluctance. Interesting. Prisoners of mine. Yeah. Oh well. You won't. False religion! Fair enough. <laughs> you don't like me that much. Alright, let's um, let time to get and grab a few more provinces. Yep. Yep. I am threatening. A defensive pact has been formed. Yes. That's right, so threat. Essentially, I'm gobbling up too much territory. Um, and doing so at such a rate that people are very concerned about the rate of power and growth. I have weak claims that I can push. I could put you or you on that current, but neither of you are landed to anyone or married to anyone landed, so I don't want to push that. So, three more titles. Let's just lend it down. I do indeed have unlanded sons. Okay, so you would accept our vassal because of the correct culture. And again. No! Doesn't think I'm powerful enough. 
Okay, well, let's see what happens. I've thrumped everyone on the best martial art ever! <laughs> I am. I've lost the trait ambitious. Lost the trait ambitious. Which is a minus two to all of my numbers. Thus dropping my defense limit down. Aww. More vassals. I am now more powerful. Are you terrified enough of me? No. But you. No. Not my deserlies. Opinion! Wow, you really don't like me. What did I do to you? Well, you're zealous. Right, I'm a different different branch of religion. Alright. So, essentially, where they're Buddhist and Hindustani, I can just go, you know what? You should be part of my kingdom. So, you'll probably say no, because false religion. You'll say no because of false religion. Qua law. False religion. Therapathy. False religion. Really doesn't like me. Mothra. False religion. Delhi. Well, I've already talked to you. You really don't like me. <laughs> you. It's pretty close. What if you liked me more? Potentially, but you don't think I'm powerful enough. Drigati. No. Foreign culture. False religion. The shame you can't see. There's no easy map mode. For switching them. Alright, so. Religion. Right, so let's say if we go culture is bounded by that boundary. And you will say no because of false religion. Alright, so there's the culture boundary. That goes up to there. Saravasti, Trapandubur, Tavaka. And then religion does indeed map these ones. Pretty sure you'll say no because false religion. Hmm? Alright, sorry, just uh, the ocelot inquiring as well. I've taken my monkey medicine, and they have. The mongoose is asleep, fortunately. That's the reason to be able to get some recording in. Oh, yeah, that reminds me. Updates might be sporadic. Um, and it isn't like we're not going to be having an action game for a while because baby, <laughs> tiny mongoose is very busy. All right, so we've drastically increased the size and power of our um, three tar of our uh, kingdom quite spectacularly. Um, so we now control. If we go to the kingdom of Delhi. We now control five of twelve of the kingdom of Delhi. So we only need two more. And we'd be able to make ourselves the king of Delhi, in which case we'd be almost de jure liege and much easier to do it. So. I can claim this for one of my other vassals. You live here. So, alright. This is annoying because the diplomatic relations thing has got just like, I have subjugation on so many people, um, and I can't twitch that off. So I have to go to the ledger. Claimants. Alright. So several people are in Kosala. Alright. Trepreneuri. I can declare on you. Because... This guy. Damo. And Chanda, right? Also has a claim. Okay. I'm not interested in going that way just yet. More interested. All right, let's just go diplomatic map mode. I have a claim. All right, course is barely available. Claim. Course of a subjugation. 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 Just subjugation. Give me the kingdoms. All right, just subjugation. Just subjugation. Just subjugation. Just subjugation. 
just subjugation. And then but you're a double guy. So you're the only one I can actually probably declare war on to get a claim. Those are my allies, you have none. And then we've got is it Ledger? That was Damo. So is it declare war on you? You have a lot of allies, so I don't want to do that one by myself as a multi-war. Multi-war. Okay, can't you declare war on you? No. Alright, so someone's got a claim on that, which I can't push apparently. Nope. The claim on the Dharma of that, another claim on that, another claim on the Dharma. Ooh. Picana and Mithala. Might be a split in the territory, just subjugation. So. Claimants. You can roll a scratch. And my steward has a weak claim. Alright, so I can't push that until such time as either a female or a regency kicks in. So, do I have enough pot power to kill you? No, no, I don't. Great disappointment. I am threatening. Defensive packs may form. Not immediately. So, I have declared war on you, military, just raise my armies, gather them into here, fall back briefly, or I just double check my weather, hmm. more technology. Very nice. Your route. Oh man, I think not making much money from Priyaga. Because it is a slightly weaker province. It's also been badly looted. Alright, so I do don't outnumber them nearly as much as I want. You have a lot of troops. Despite the fact though, I suppose you also control that one. It's a quite heavily developed castle, I suppose. No. And I haven't called in my vassals. Mostly because they're a bit pissed at the moment. But I will call in my little battles, shall we say. Just to bump my numbers up. Just a little bit. So these are the guys, the smaller fry, the barons and the like you are, not major powers. I don't believe I have any vassal dukes. No, I don't. Good, I like it that way. They want to become dukes, they can do it themselves. So, uh, our rapid burst of vassalization has greatly increased the size of our territory. More technology. So, our spy master is doing one of us. I have no interest in building a shipbuilding. I don't believe. Well, we have quite a chunk of cavalry. Let's look at this army. It's quite a large amount of cavalry. Anyway, I'll be leaving the center. That one, and then my wife, yet another wife, will be leading that flank. Charge. That is t Hills Terrain, and it has... Right, so apparently there's a river on that border, what it's worth. But there's no river between Kaifor and Bottom Manager. I should probably go on a training course on how you pronounce all these things. Let's get to fighting. Alright, we've initially crushed that flank. Don't have much in the way of life, but we don't have any elephants yet. Boo and hiss. Um, there's a lot of rough terrain around here. Cavalry, light foot. Rough terrain experts. Bonus to Forest and Hills. Bonus to Cavalry. Bonus to light foot troops. Bonus to War Elephant. Ooh, just a flat, big out damage to morale, actually. Yeah, let's take that one. So that crushed. A daughter was born. 
granddaughter. Alright, then you're defeated, you're going back there. Cross the Ganges. Wow, another tech boost. Very pleased I hired a genius for that. More slaughterings. You are heading to Delhi. I'm expecting you to do this a few times. So I'll let you sort yourselves out. We have captured the man in question. Alright, so you are worth 70 gold, which you can pay. And I am going to win this war anyway. It's costing me 5 gold a month to take it. Let's have a look. Alright, so another battle. Then another battle. And then one last battle, and now I am sieging. 5.4 for 12 days. Yeah, what I'm going to do, I am going to ransom you. I'm going to take that money, and then I'm going to siege your province down. That army is too small to be out of trouble. Hmm. Market town, so now rolling in even more money. Depends about disbanded, which means my threat has decreased even more. My understanding. Adopt the martial ideas. Technology spread rate, excellent. Titles. Cut bearer. Now let's grab my son. Sensual. Let's get my spy master on the side, shall we? Master of the royal elephants. My brother. The royal builder. Usually, someone else doing the actual work. Let's grab someone with high stewardship. My steward. My son? Yeah. My son. No court guru as such. Any intrigues? Several known plots. Um, get rid of the plots. Convert religion, holy man, go on a tiger hunt, have peace. War of Aggression and War Against Culture will be able to use again. No, I'm happy with that, though, actually. I think they made them too easy. Ooh, ambitious. Nice. So our air is shaping up to be quite the powerful little creature. We should see what kind of education he gets. Alright, with that in mind, we'll finish up this war in the next episode. Thank you for watching, gentlemen. Again with the Spy Master. You are an amazing Spy Master. Boost the learning as well. Brilliant character. Oh my god, marry her off. She's religious. Oh well. I've been the Marmoset. This has been the Shattered India Campaign. It's Crusader Kings to do. Please remember to like, comment, and/or subscribe. Bye for now.